Today is Tuesday, September 13th, 2016, and joining me once again, Samantha Lee is here <laughs> at the co-host table. Yes. Welcome back, Samantha Thanks, Lee. Thanks. How's your summer been? We haven't it's seen great. you. Great. I know. I was really busy. Uh, it was good. I got into a play. Um, I actually moved into an apartment, so right. I was very busy after summer school. Yes, yes. Yeah. How was your rest of your summer? Very good. Very good. been busy here with the show, legislator stuff. We're back to school, of course. Yes. And uh, actually, in today's show, we're going to be taking a trip to the Catskill Elementary School. We're going to be talking to Principal John Rivers awesome. and teacher Nicole McElene. Perfect. You know, Nicole McElene has been on this show before, so. Yeah. Oh, yes. But Mr. Rivers, this is his first That's time, That's his right? first time, yes. <laughs> his big debut. I had a special visit today from Mr. Rivers and Miss Barkman. They oh, my gosh. They came into the classroom. Yeah. Yes. And uh, that's all they talked about was live with Matt. <laughs> Please. You know, what, what do I look like here? Celebrity. <laughs> well, yes, Miss Barkman was waiting for Hollywood to call. I was yes. just saying, her boots are ready. Oh, she's I ready. Oh, she's ready for it. Yep. Uh, but I'll tell you, we do have a big show today. This is a season five of Live with Matt. Wow. And of course, we're going to be sending in a video to Mike Kelly. Yeah. You know, she's looking for a co host here. So we're going to do a little, they only allow a 60 second video. So you're nominating me? Yes. Oh. Yes, we're going to do that. <laughs> Oh, I'm nominating you to be your co-host? No, it's, hello, the show is called Live with Matt here. Uh, but we're going to do a little piece that we're going to send to her. Yep, you know, We I can know. only have 60 seconds. You know, That's all they allow. Got to make a good impression. Got to make a good impression. Six, yeah. What can she get in 60 seconds? You could get whacked. It doesn't take much longer. What is it with you in this waxing thing? Let's go. Let's, let's talk no, let's about not. this. Yes. Because you don't do let's it. Let's discuss this. What is the deal with this waxing? The people at home want to know. I mean, you proposed this last May. I did, and you still yes. haven't done it. You and then actually, a even a year before that, you Probably. talked about this. Probably. Yeah. You did a poll. Yes, the people wanted to see it. I know. I don't understand. What is the big deal, though? I just think it'd be funny. There, you get... 60 seconds, you just whoosh, good scream and then talk about something else. <laughs> I, I be won't perfect. be able to talk after that. <laughs> Probably not. Oh my, so I am going to do that and uh, we will, maybe we'll do, we'll do some waxing. Who knows? One day. Yeah, sure. <laughs> if I make it on Kelly's show, oh, that, that will be good. it. So if sure. I make it on Kelly's show, we'll do the waxing here. Deal. What's right here, deal. Deal. We did. I had a deal. They <laughs> well, voted. We People vote. That's all right. Okay. Now this week also. Now we had the opening of school. We're back to work. Yes. Samantha, I also went to the Kiska Tom uh, Fire Department. Uh, hosted the Green County uh, Volunteer Firemen's Convention. And here's wow. the book. I went to. Especially they invited me to dinner last Thursday. Very nice dinner. Uh, they had a nice memorial service here for the fallen uh, firemen. Uh, but it was a very nice dinner put on by the Rip Van Winkle Country Club. And they invited oh, all the legislators to go. So it was very, very nice dinner. That's great. Uh, legislator Mike Bulich and Harry Lennon, uh, the three of us from the legislature, were there and uh, nice. had a nice dinner. Uh, I wanted to thank Pete Kosminski. He uh, uh, was in charge of the convention, and uh, he invited the legislators. So it was nice. It's nice to see all the emergency services volunteers there. I mean, they have a really important job to do. So especially with September 11th, just passing, oh yes, you know? we got a nice mug here too. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. It's got the little logo on there. Yeah. 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 So we got a nice little little souvenir here nice. from the event. Yeah, very nice. And then of course Friday we had the Mardi Gras parade. Yeah, uh, how was that? That was very nice. The kids it. dressed up as firemen and uh, oh. fire people, and we did all kinds of things and. I had a lot of fun with it. Good. It was a lot of fun. People enjoyed it. I heard it was great. Yeah, and then Saturday I was in the other parade. How many parades can I be in here? Politician, you, know, you this, gotta get used to it. I guess. We walked over three miles in that parade. You know, we walked from the Ulster County line on Route 32 all the way to the Friar Tuck. Jeez. Yes. It was me, uh, legislator Mike Bulich, Kevin Lennon, Aiden O'Connor, and then we had legislator Martinez and Harry Lennon. They sat in the car. They drove the car. And then, of course, the senator, Senator Amador, is behind us. So, you know, we're all walking down the street, and all of a sudden we're coming down, and then all of a sudden the cows come by. What? The cows wanted to see us, too. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that was nice. And uh, I told the senator, I said, this is Senator Amador. I said, this is my exercise for the entire week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you need a Fitbit. <laughs> and he was like, come on now. I said, please. And then, of course, I don't know if you heard, but halfway through the parade, 
uh, maybe a fire truck or something, a tree came down. And the wires came what? down across the street, stopped the whole parade. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, luckily, we were already ahead of them. Yeah. But, you know, it was about a good hour before the rest of them caught up and oh. then finished the parade. I had left. I had, I had another appointment I had to get to. Very busy. Very busy. Now, what's new with you there, Samantha Lee? Um, Besides trying to wax me, yes, you know, what's up? Yes, chopping off my own fingers. Oh, meantime. yes. I saw that on the Snapchat. <laughs> yes, the Snapchat. Yes. You like the Snapchat. Just Snapchat. There's no the. <laughs> There's no the in front There's of it? There's no the. Well, we're on the Snapchat. You know, Emma Vera 4. Follow us on there. On Snapchat. There you go. Snapchat. Yes, yes, you are. I see it. So what's new besides your fingers um, here? Yes. Besides that, I actually, um, last year... First of all, how did it happen? Want to tell the people or you want no, to... No, I'm going to keep, keep it to myself. But okay. I'm healing quickly. Well, yeah, you didn't lose any I part of the finger no, like Mr. Daly. No, no. He cut off his thumb years ago. Yeah. I only got the yeah. tip, so hopefully that grows back. I hope so, yeah. yes. <laughs> I'm pretty fond of my fingertips. Uh -huh. Anyway, yes. um, so last summer I traveled to Europe with um, Annie Sirago, Annie Sirago Bryant, and That's took right. a bunch of high schoolers over to Europe. Mm -hmm. And in the summer of 2017, I was nominated to be the leader for the Albany area and to um, pretty much help recruit um, high school students, anyone in 8th grade wow. to 12th grade. And I will be taking students over to Europe once again, <laughs> but this time over to places um, Germany, Czech Republic, Poland, Estonia, Latvia, all of these amazing places where I feel like you wouldn't go with a family vacation. So mm. it's really a once in a lifetime opportunity. And this is through the People to People International program. Okay. And you're going to be, you're looking for people I to. I am. I'm looking to get the word out. Yeah. I'm looking to get the word out to um, <laughs> high school students, anyone in eighth grade to 12th grade. Oh, I thought you were inviting Matt here to take the show. Well, I do need a chaperone if I get more oh. than 10 people. Oh, so. really? Oh, so you are inviting <laughs> so, Matt to There go. you go. <laughs> Take the show Incentive. on the road. Yes, All right, so over we're going to, to places. Where are we going? Um, well, it's called Berlin to the Baltics, and oh. it will be places like um, obviously Berlin, mm -hmm. Prague, Berlin, Germany, Prague, yep, yeah. um, Helsinki, Warsaw, <clears throat> um, and it's a total of eight uh, countries. Okay, it's a eighteen day program. Wow, and with the tuition, everything is included. Three square meals a day, hotel, okay. travel fees, and all of these amazing excursions. Wow. So uh, just looking to get the word out to people. You know, if they're interested to contact me, um, they can just okay. be sampartra at yahoo.com or okay. maybe they get can, a hold of you too. And right on the Live with Matt Facebook page here, yeah. send us a message and yeah. uh, I'll get it to you. Absolutely. Yeah. So okay. that's pretty much my uh, that's focus exciting. right now. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, very exciting. It is. Now, you're doing the play also, right? I am, I'm, yeah. I'm going to try to come down and see oh, you. Oh, you right have now. to. You know, yes. yes. It's uh, Young Frankenstein. So if you're a... Young Frankenstein. Yep. Okay. Mel Brooks humor <laughs> for sure. All so right, that's definitely. Rhyme yeah. back. Yeah. In Rhinebeck. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Not yeah. till October, so you have some time. In October. Okay, so we'll talk about that yeah. on the show. All uh, right. <clears throat> what do you play in it? Oh, I'm like the third <clears throat> villager. Besides a talk show host. <laughs> I'm the third villager to the left, I think. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh. oh, I thought you had a leading role here. No. You know? Third villager. <laughs> to the left. <laughs> well, we all have to start somewhere. I mean, <laughs> we started here on YouTube, that's and it. now we're on Columbia Green <laughs> Media. look at so. us. <laughs> no, but my brother is actually playing um, Frankenstein, so he's playing oh, the, wow. the lead. Yeah, so he wrote me into doing it. Just cool. Yeah, it's a great group of people. It's a lot of fun. Very good. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a great production. Come down and see you in that. You'll enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Oh my! Now, Samantha Lee, <clears throat> we also had uh, this past uh, Sunday was a you know one of these historic days in our country. Mm -hmm. uh, it was September 11th, oh, of and. Uh, you know, we all remember September 11th. Uh, this was the headline in the Weekend Daily Mail here, remembering September 11th. Uh, I actually was uh, in college at the time. You were probably still in elementary school. I was. <laughs> <laughs> but I was in college at the time, and I was waiting for uh, my afternoon class. I had just got up to have breakfast. And I'm sitting, you know, in my recliner and in my apartment down at school. I'm sitting there watching the Today Show like I do every morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of a sudden, you know, they came on and a, a plane had struck the towers. And I was like, wow. Yeah. <clears throat> and then as I'm watching them talk about it and they're showing the building on fire, you see this other plane coming in. Mm -hmm. And I was like, whoa. And I, at that point, I had called my mother. She was working. I said, I think something bad has happened here. And, yeah. you know, then, of course, the tragedy that happened in uh, Pennsylvania with the plane went down there. And, of course, the Pentagon in Washington, yeah. over 3,000 people died. It's one so. of those things that you never forget where you were the moment you right. found out about it. You know, right. even though I was younger, 
Now, where were you? Were you in elementary? I was. I you was were. in, oh, um, yeah. I feel getting old here. <laughs> I was in seventh grade. You were in seventh grade. Wow. Yeah. Now, were you in the class doing work? I was in or? the classroom. Um, I went to a small Catholic school, and our school decided not to tell us about it during the day, mm -hmm. but um, a friend of mine's father worked in New York, and he came in late, and wow. he kind of told us all, yeah. and I'll never forget coming home and seeing the headlines <clears throat> on the news, you know, and oh, all yeah. of the airtime for the first time, and just your world stopped, and right. even though luckily I didn't lose anyone, just right, right, right. the whole world stopped that day. Yeah, it was it was bad. I had a, this was actually the headline from September, uh, the next day, uh, mm -hmm. from the Daily News right there. Uh, the people who knocked these buildings down will heal all of us, President Bush there, standing on top of the buildings. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, this was the paper from September 12th uh, from the New York Times. This was the actual newspaper. I show this to the kids every year. Yeah. Uh, with what happened uh, that fateful morning, you know, with those with that terrorist attacks, you know, we had a nice discussion about it in school. It's really has become part of our history, yeah, uh, here in New York State specifically, mm -hmm. and that's what we teach in fourth grade, and uh, really talk to the kids about you know what happened and you know how much this country changed after that point. You know, we we you know pre basically came and go as we pleased. You know, we really yeah. didn't think about terrorism. Here in our own country, I know. You know, it wasn't it wasn't a, a topic of conversation. You know, it happened in other countries, but we had these giant oceans, mm -hmm. you know, protecting us. Yeah. You know, and that was the mentality of our our leaders. You know, nothing could like that could happen here. And then, of course, this happened. I know. You know, and now life has changed. You know, completely since that day. I do love though the stories of like <clears throat> heroes that day too, though. You know, like yes. out of the darkness came a lot of amazing Absolutely. stories yeah, you know, about yeah. people being courageous and selfless. Yeah, so. yeah. The, the people that went down there, the medical personnel. Yeah. Uh, my friend Father Matthew, who has simply you know has passed on now, but he was actually one of the priests that went down there, you mm -hmm. know, and was ministering to these people, you know, while yeah. they were while they were trying to recover bodies. You know, it really, yeah. was, it really was a sad day. Yeah. So, but we remembered that on uh, Sunday, and uh, it was very nice. I wasn't able to get to our county memorial. I had to play in another church, you know, it was mm -hmm. church service. Uh, so, but we, we remember all those people here on the show. So, Samantha Lee, yes. your phone didn't go off this time. I put I mean, it on silent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you checked out our uh, funny moments we had, but that was one of yes, our funny moments yes, was, yes. Uh, you know, your phone <laughs> constantly going off while we were talking here. I know. Yes. You know, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, we had a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Uh, even the county attorney, you know, he said he watches the show. That's he said, awesome. he said he loves it, you know. Good. Yeah, he uh, he said his, he liked the part where I had my junior vloggers here, Emma Brown. Yeah. And she was making fun of me. She was imitating <laughs> my hand motions. He said that was the most funniest thing he ever saw. <laughs> <clears throat> we said, are well, Italian, right? I mean, that's, that's like exactly, that's you know, that's it. what it is. Yeah. Come on, Ed. <laughs> but uh, that's what I, and that's what I tell the kids in school. I said sometimes I get excited because I'm Italian. I can't help it. Yeah. You know, I talk with my hands. I get loud. You know, that's how it is. <laughs> <clears throat> now, next week, Sam, uh, we're yes. going to start a new se uh, segment here on the show. Yeah. We're going to be doing a monthly fit tip with oh. Chelsea Streifenator uh, from Body Be Well Pilates. So ah, she's going to be joining us. Yeah, we're actually going to be doing a little office tip for people that people can do right at their desks. Really? Yes. Yeah. That's very cool. So that's Based our first on that. one, and uh, okay. she's going to be coming every month to do that. That's great. Yes. That's all I have for you, Sam. I don't have anything oh, else man. here. You know, we're 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 done here with that's the show. It. Are we ready to go to the elementary school or what? Yes, here? absolutely. Well, let's go to the elementary school and uh, uh, let's check out. We're going to go and talk to Mr. Rivers okay. about this family barbecue going on. Are you going to go to the barbecue? Yes. Yeah. Are you going? I have to. I can help set up. I think I have to leave a little bit early because we're going to see my brother in a different place. So oh, okay. very busy. So you might not be there then. I yes. wanted a face paint, but. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> and and I'm gonna go. We'll go down and check that out now. Awesome. So uh, let's go down right now. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, we made it down here to the Caskill Elementary School with my principal, Mr. Rivers. Welcome, Mr. Rivers, to Lava Med. I know you've been 
You've been waiting a whole year to come on this show. A whole year? Yeah. This is my third year <laughs> at Catskill, and this That's is the first long? time I've been third here at Catskill. Wow. Started my third wow. year, wow. and I see the grades now, are starting to come in like me. I've been pulling them out. Yeah. Don't pull them out, they come in more than. <laughs> and of course, Nicole Mappeline here. Hi, Matt. Part of the PTA, also one of our teachers. Now we're here in the kitchen of the elementary school. It's behind the scenes. Nobody's ever yes. been in here before. <laughs> now look at this monstrosity behind this, these ovens. And we're having a barbecue this Friday. Yeah. And Nicole and Mr. Rivers are going to talk a little bit about it. So what are we going to do this Friday? I'm going to be here. And what are you going to do? Oh, I've got my live with Kelly and Michael Apron. Mr. Rivers has got the live with Matt Apron here. We're, now come on. We're barbecuing. We're barbecuing. So what are we be doing? We're barbecuing. We've got a family barbecue, so yes. tell us a little bit about it. It is the second year we've done the barbecue, and it is free to all CES families. And that is totally in part to a lot of sponsors. Um, I want to just take a second to thank them. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here, here we go. Hey, listen. Hey, got to pay the bills. You know, got to pay the bills. We have, the camera in front of her. I love the camera. Here, you know, and then put a mic in my hand, forget it. But we do have some amazingly generous people in our community that do mm -hmm. sponsor these events for yes. us. And our big sponsor for the event is Brad Cummings with PKHB CPAs. Mm -hmm. Also Holt Surveying, Conklin Architecture, Shook Insurance, Story Farms, Furniture Plus, Sawyer Motors, and Mountain View Lawn Care and Snow Plowing. They are sponsoring all of the food and the ice cream that we're having for dessert. Wow. And the CES PTA is paying for all the entertainment. Okay, what's the time people can come? 5.30 to 8. 5.30 to 8. Okay, yes. So I'll be here for part of that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're going to have a lot of excitement here as well, besides I, just free food. Yes. We've got reptiles. Reptiles. We've got feathery I do animals. Well with animals. Yes. Oh, I, I plan to hold something. Of course. Reptile. I, I am. You're always trying to hold something, but we won't go there. <laughs> Anyways. Maybe I'll like come after you with a snake or something. Yeah, okay. That would be so fun. what else you got besides We've the food got reptiles? Mark Perpetua's Reptile Encounters. We have Friends of the Feathered and Furry. And then okay. we are culminating the night with Bubbles. Bubbles. Wow. With bubbles. We Jeff bubbles. Boyer's Bubble Trouble Show is mm -hmm. going to be here. So Excellent. And plus face painting and <laughs> DJs and activities and area organizations are coming. So it's going to be a fun-filled family night. Okay. And Mr. Rivers, what are you going to be doing at this event? Supervising. That's what supervising. I do with us. I supervise. Oh, make sure that everything yeah, is running smooth. supervising? What? Myself. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Make okay. sure that I'm here. Things okay. like that. I no, hope you're here. On a serious note, I do want to take a moment to thank Nicole, Miss <laughs> McElean. You know, we kind of gave her the ball that last year with this, and she does what she always does. She takes off and she runs with it. She did a great job organizing everything. We're going to have a great back to school barbecue. So, a lot of people here. Back to school. A lot of, uh, back to I, school. Know. I know. I know. Hopefully good weather. Last year we had over 500 people. Hope this year it might be a little bit more. So uh, again. Come early. Yes. If you are coming and please. Oh, yes. CES families. So, but we, you know, good. second year we've made some improvements. So it should yeah, be fun. Absolutely. Now I just have a question here. I want to point this out oh, to everybody. Goodness. We've got the utensils here. Now these utensils don't look like they have ever been used. Brand new? I bought them brand new. Oh, all right. I'm going to say, have you ever done this no, before? No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a Matt Lamera guy. I'm not a Ark and Grill guy. <laughs> okay, no, well, Grill. And he did sure last year. Yeah. There was no food poisoning. So oh, wow. Like, that was good. He continues right. that the second year. I got these brand new just for the just barbecue. Just for the barbecue. Okay, Absolutely. so we're going to see Mr. Rivers. We're going to see Nicole and all of yep. you for part of the time. And we hope to see you. Yes, we hope to see everybody there. So thank you both for being here this week on You're the welcome. show. Thank you, Matt, for having yes. us. You know, first good to time be Matt. <coughs> three it's years. Back. Back. It's good to be back here on my a long time. time. Samantha Lee, she couldn't be here with us, you know, but uh, she was here mm -hmm. with me earlier. She's going to be volunteering, too. I, are you sure about that? I, should, I think she's going somewhere. Oh, <laughs> But anyway, uh, next week now on the show, we've got Chelsea Streifen here coming back. You're she's going to begin again? her uh, once a month uh, Live with Matt Fit Tip. So where she's going to be coming to us once a month to get us in shape for the year. So every month she's going to be here the third Tuesday of the month and she's going to give us a little fitness tip. And are you going to follow it? Yes. And we're going to have Nicole Lacey as co-host. So we'll see you next week. Have a good week, everyone. Thank you.